Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are on, back in Train to World 4, and today we're on the LGV Mediterranean route. This is the, so far, the first and only French route for Train Sim World. And I am going to be driving this um, SNCF Blue TGV Duplex from Avion to Marseille, which is going to be about 60 kilometers and take about half an hour, with only one stop in between. Quick disclaimer before we get going. I, I'm not a fan of this route. And... The train itself is modeled well, but the the route itself is ruined by the terrible scenery and, yes, terrible, and short length of the route. I managed to get this route back in April at 80% off, and it was also free back in May, so that was actually, that was really nice. I was able to get it at such a reduced price. It was about 600 yen, Japanese yen, or about four four pounds or dollars, but at normal price, the price is just much too high. But anyway, now, now that I've got this route, I might as well use it. You might as well notice that this livery is not the normal, um, where is it? Oh, back there you can see it, um, is not the normal livery you get on this route. It's, the train back here is the livery that you Get, is in the standard livery, this sort of like SNCF white and charcoal black and mixture, which I rather like, but I much prefer the SNCF blue. So this is a livery that you can download off the Creators Club. Just search Atlant Atlantique on the Creators Club and you should be able to find it, no trouble. We are currently loading up the old passengers. seem to have vanished. There goes a TGV heading toward north of the north of France. If you're wondering what livery, and not not what livery, doofus, um, what um, what service we're doing? It's TGV six one seven five to Nice, but we're just driving as far as Marseille. until 12.54, so I'll release the brakes now. There we go. Okay, it seems as though we're limited. Ah, here we go. Oh, nice. This thing is a bit of a beast to get going because of the heaviness of the carriages. And also, one thing you also have to be extremely careful of is that you have to get on the brakes in this thing extremely early, otherwise you are going to have issues. The brake the brakes are pretty terrible due to the sheer weight of the carriages behind this thing. Where did these tracks go? Oh. They go off somewhere. Don't know where they go. Alright. We're already at 70 kilometers an hour, 80? Whoa, this thing, this thing does get going, eventually. Climate control switch, despite not needed. Whoops. Okay, we are good to, we are good to go. Oh, and we could get up to 300 kilometers an hour already. This is the fast, despite being What's going on with the lighting? That's extremely weird. Um, this train is the fastest in Train to World by considerable margin. Has a top line speed of 320 kilometers an hour, which is, which in imperial numbers, is well beyond 200 miles an hour, and almost getting on toward 210 miles an hour, which is really that this thing just books it. And because this route is only 65 kilometer, um, is only about 80 kilometers long. It's feels the train to borrow someone else's words feels like a caged animal. It can't, you barely get it up to speed before you have to stamp on the brakes and bring it to a stop. 
but look at us. We're already booking it at 200 kilometers an hour. This, the TGV also has a layer onto southeastern high speed on um, and you get to drive it from Ashford up to St. Pancras and back for a few timetable surfaces. Is that, and if you put this thing in Eurostar delivery, that's basically the only way you can do a Eurostar surface in t Trains in World right now, unfortunately. This might actually be a good place to get a photo, because I've got dynamic weather on it, and I do not want the photo to be ruined. So, too bad there's no motion blur in photo mode. That'd be a nice function. Alright. F to hide overlay. Take screenshot. Ooh, that looks good. I love this um, Atlant Atlantique livery. 260 kilometers now. We are leaving most. We're leaving most other trains and trains in world behind at this point, except maybe like the Ice One or something. Ooh, and we get to go up to 320 already. That is pretty nice. I found that this route is really nice if you just want a short, a short run, short end-to-end -end run, nothing too fast. Three, and we get to go up to 320 already. That is so nice. We're just booking it. Look at this. And off into the stratosphere. Look at this thing. Just go. In a, in, I'm doing this in a really nice train. Is there like a safety system? I've, I've never ever figured out if this train has modeled safety's crocodile. Oh, that's the train management system, I think. Let's just do another flight pass shot just for the heck of it. <laughs> oh my word, this thing just absolutely is just tearing along. Oh. This is one of the worst points for scenery on the route. Let's go into photo mode and widen the field of view just a bit. Look at this! It's terrible! This unrealistic detailing with no grass on this side, and then no grass, just flat texture and rubbish islands, no grass on this side. It looks awful! It looks totally unfinished! Oh! I... I'm spe I'm just speechless. This is the worst scenery I have ever seen in Train Sim World, apart from the Arosa line, which thankfully I haven't got. But on a brighter note, bridge detailing is actually relatively nice. Look at that. Nice little bits of rust and nicely weathered um 
uh, what's the word, railings there. What, what's more, Dovetail Games had the just sheer gall to put this thing in, um, in the special edition of Trains of World 4, like it was a group notable enough to be put in any edition of Trains of World 4. Oh, and we're actually going via Ion Provence. Normally, you normally you get to stop there, but I think Ion Provence is actually one of the better stations in the game. Period. So we'll take a look around when we get there. Go! Look at this. Now, if we get down next to the tracks. Whoa, this is insane. One problem with this route is that in real life, as well as this, it's so hilly that the train often just slows down because it just doesn't have the power to keep the speed at, at the maximum. So often you'll find on like you get up to like 3.5% grades and the train just cannot cope, it just starts slowing down. To be fair, you also get down like southeastern high speed, but yeah, it's interesting, shall we say. And yeah, that's that's how the route is in real life, so can't complain too much, can I? The speedo needle is jammed right up next to the edge. That's so I love that. I love it when you can do that. Another thing about the TGV is it's actually relatively boring to drive, honestly. You could just jab it in selected speed mode, put the power handle at max power, and just leave it to the speed set mode to control your speed. Yeah. It's a fun... It, yeah. Why is the... Oh, hello! Slow down. Slow down, please. I think we're about... Nope. Nope. I thought we were... The TVM seems to be having a, a, a mind of its own. I don't see any speed restrictions coming up on the task, uh, the train line thing on the top right of the screen. And yet the train management system just seems to have a mind of its own. Yeah, look, there it goes again. It thinks we're about to decent. We think It thinks we're about to decelerate, but yet, we're not. That seems to be a bit of a bug, given that this route has been out for going on two years now. That's not okay. That should, that, that should be still in game. See what I mean? The train, the train is going full power, but yet cannot, um, yet cannot produce enough power to hold us at the speed, look. Oh, hello. What? Oh. Alright, I'm just putting it down to 300. Oh, and through this little tunnel here. Whoa, and massive viaduct, look at this. Yeah, look. Break, 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 break. Yeah, because of the way the TVM just seems to have a mind of its own, I think that I am going to hold it at 300 and just... Yeah. We're due into Marseille Saint-Charles, and I sincerely apologize for my pronunciation. At 121, it's currently 104. Whoa, see what I mean about a gradient change? That's insane, look at this! Break, 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 come on, come on. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Come 
break. Break. Sometimes you do need to give it a bit of assistance. Uh, all right. I'm getting a bit of wheel slip, but I don't care because I don't want. All right, power. Maybe that was a bit too much braking, but I don't care because I do not want to overspeed. Okay, finally, we're getting down to just 300 kilometers now. Whoa, why am I... S uh, hello? Come on. I'm slowing down a ton. Oh, it's, I just had the brakes on. Oh! Wow, wow. That real doofus moment there. Is it as a TGV? Hello, buddy. And it just flashes past. That's insane. Okay. Doofus moving over, I'm back to driving. Okay, the speed limit should be 300 kilometers an hour all the way to uh, the power, uh, about just before the power changeover location. So just before we get into Marseille proper. I wish we had the old TGV on this route, because run, running just the TGV with double-decker coaches feels unrealistic. If we had the old TGV and single-decker coaches, that would actually be really, that would actually be re really realistic. But maybe that's not, maybe that's not pretty typical to this route, I don't know. Please let me know in the comments if you actually have any experience in this area. about this route that I need to tell you is that the timetable is extremely unrealistically spartan. Like, there is... there's way less trains on this route uh -oh, than there should be. Like, there, there are... like, there are way less trains than there should be. This is not an original timetable. This is a mucked up timetable is what it is. to Ion Provence already. Uh-oh. What? What? What are you talking about? Bunkers machine. Alright. Come on. I'll stamp on the brakes train. Alright, come on. Alright. I do not want to overspeed here. Oh, I'm just using the dynamic brakes. Oh, hello, it's raining. Alright, come on. Uh, where are the wipers? Wiper control, I think. Uh... Uh-oh! Oh no, did not realize. seem to be sliding down finally, thank goodness. Whoa! I almost feel as though the train was about to lift into the air there. That's very weird feeling. As you can see, the weather has taken a turn for the worse. Oh, come on. Let's apply some brake. Whoa! Alright, release the brakes since we're on the low, low part. You can also run the Siemens Vectron on this route in free roam mode and timetable mode if you spawn it in. I have actually done that. It's actually really fun because the the train at the Vectron actually has French voltage presets in its system. So that means you could also run it on the and you could also run it on the Swiss Two River Games on the on S Bahn Central Schweiz because you do have a Swiss voltage preset as well. Here we go. Alright, 
here we go. I am for volts in two kilometers. I am Provence upcoming. And shoo, wait a wait a second. I want to go into feta mode. Whoa! I am Provence, despite the fog, is a really nicely modeled station. Look at this arch. It's architecturally gorgeous. Look at this. Really like it. And another interesting fact about it, it's accessible only via a motorway interchange, or highway interchange. You can't really tell. I had to look at it on Google Maps. Alright, power changeover location in 12 kilometers. Oh, 270, okay. Alright, let's give it full dynamic break. I certainly will not be getting a platinum medal today. Uh, let's increase the wider speed. Oh, whoopsie. Bit too much break breaking there. Alright, it, oh, it wants to be good to go down to 2.30. Uh, okay. Alright, and into the tunnel. Once we come out of this tunnel, we should be at Marseille, so I'll actually switch the wiper off right now. We're supposed to get to Marseille, Saint Charles, in three minutes. How's that going to be possible? Must be running a tight timetable today. All right, come on. Uh, full on the dynamic brakes. Give it some actual brakes. Right, come on, bud. Let's uh, give it a little bit. Not happy. Gosh, now it wants me to go down to 160? Come on, bud. Alright, power changeover location 5.2 kilometers, so I better get ready. The power changeover was a bit of a hassle, but you get used to it. Alright, come on. Alright, there we go. Brakes totally released. This is, look at that weird lighting effect. It looks as though the train is in daylight, even though it's in the tunnel. That is extremely weird, and that is a major issue. So there's the power changeover location. I'd say we're well over halfway through the tunnel. And then there's Marseille down here. It's coming all the way from Avion up here. Wow, this thing just eats the miles. Like, they just don't exist. Wow. Hmm. Oh, another thing I should show you. Oh, it actually is going down to 140, so while I'm here. Um, is... The engine room is only modeled as far as this point. You can't get past here because there's an invisible wall. Look. There wasn't like it. All right. Okay. The signals give me the all clear. Thanks. All right. Here we go. Oh, power changeover location 1.2 kilometers. Okay. Oh, wiper. Back to full, please. Okay. So. Uh, pantograph to lower, shut the power off, pantograph mode to DC, pantograph back up. Is that the wrong power mode? I'm guessing, I'm guessing it is. Another tunnel. 1.5 kilovolts D DC. Okay. 
Okay, good. And power changeover complete. There we go. All right. Here we are in Marseille. Uh, the outskirts, anyway. All right. Whoa, massive lightning strike over there. It's gone from clear to lightning storm in 60 kilometers. How, how realistic is that? All right. Oh, we actually have how many minutes? So we're supposed to be there at 121. And we have six minutes. Six and a bit minutes to get there. Okay, should be fine. Decelerate because there are some pretty harsh speed limits coming into Marseille. Whoa, massive lightning strike just there. Okay. Alright, we have to go down to 110. Nicely detailed abandoned stations on the outskirts of Marseille. It's actually a nice and a pretty nice touch. to drive the TGV occasionally, it's just, this route is pretty not, is not that interesting. Huge lights, aha! Didn't realize you could put them up all that way. Even I'm still finding things about, uh, I'm finding things out about this train even now. Oh well, yeah, now we have to go down to 60. Actually, lower the wiper intensity. There we go. Alright, 60 limit in force. Let's get it down to 30. Alright. There we go. Actually, the weather looks as though it's clearing up a bit. Nice. Must have been just a summer. Sorry, summer thunder shower. All right, 900 meters to Marseille, and we have four minutes to do 850 meters, so we should be okay. Another, yeah, another issue with this route is that there's, yeah, look. Where is it? Ah, uh -huh. look. There is obviously missing catenary. Stops there and restarts here. Like, that's a totally obvious error. That should not have been put into the. Whoa, sorry. Base DLC. Alright. Driving mode, can I change that? No, I'll just have to. Here we go. What platform are we coming in at? Whoa. Okay, so we're coming into the right of this, that TGV over there. Alright, let's get that down to 20. Because I do not want to overrun and crash into the buffers at Marseille. That would be bad. There's another Atlantique DGV. Right. 
have two minutes to go to do 300 meters, I think we'll be absolutely fine. I'm honestly coming in a bit slow. Alright, oh, so we're coming in at one of the uncovered platforms. Okay, oh, I spy a route map I can get. I'll show you the interior of the um, TGV before I end the video, and also the architecture at Marseille is really nice. It's been beautifully modeled. All right, shut the power off. Twenty meters. Okay. Unlock doors. And I can turn the wiper off now because no one will be in this end of the cab. Person to neutral. Driving mode is still in selected speed. Oh, that must be. Oh, I don't know why it's. Alright. Just have to wait for the old passengers to load up. Nice station here at Marseille. Look at this. Really like it. Nice detailing on the marble floor, too. Nice station announcements. Alright, just wait for the passengers to load themselves up. Alright. Lock the doors. Okay, gold medal! Ooh, nice. Distance driven 92 kilometers. Time taken 29 minutes. Nice. But let's return to free roam, re unlock the doors, and let's get out the cab. There's another TGV coming in. It must have been. Hey, it's one of the new NPCs. I didn't know they layered onto the older routes. That's nice. Ooh, get out of the way. Let's get in here. Oh, nice. Look at this. Oh, very comfortable. Nice mood lighting, too. I can just imagine whizzing my way across France among these seats. Oh, that sounds so nice. Come on. Let's go to the top deck, for want of a better term. Oh, look at this. Oh! Very comfortable looking. And if I remember correctly, farther along the train there's actually a bar, so let's have a look at that. Aha! Here it is. Here's an emergency exit door. Can't get out there. Very nice bar. Look at this. So nicely detailed, too. Look at these little seats. You can't sit on them, unfortunately. Nice, nice lights, and unfortunately, the bar is permanently closed. I like your shirt, bro. Very nice. Black and yellow polka dots? Never seen one, on, one of those on an NPC before. Okay. Uh, let's go sit in a seat. This is first class. No, I think it's just a different style seat. Okay. And on that bombshell, I think it's time we ended the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.